Hello everybody. The day is here. 4th of July 2023. Welcome back again. Here we are, another update video. This is probably my favorite of all the update videos. I look forward to it because of the additional color you get to put in there with the uh, with the American flags. And here we are on a very, very hot day, currently 93. The entire weekend, really the last four days, have been in the in the low in the low 90s. A lot of water. That's what that means. Uh, so what I had to do since the last video is this weekend, I trimmed down these hedges. I did not trim the super tunias, however, they're they're still growing. Just trim the hedges back a little bit. Uh, other than that. I have not done anything to change these super tunias, but I have been treating them for insects and fungicide. Now, I haven't really seen any mold, um, but I know that there's probably some instances of mold growth. So, I mean, there's so much foliage on all of them that you really can't see it, but you should just immediately assume two things. But when I notice when you plant these many super tunias again this is six of them in one planter just immediately assume that you're gonna have aphids and you're gonna have mold and so you just have to start spraying preventatively so that's what I've been doing every weekend now to try and just beat the bugs back beat the mold back so uh, I was able to fit um, quite a few flags here about 12 of them in this one and as you can see I've been watering them a lot the red has really broken through the black cherry. They're kind of all throughout the middle right now. The blue skies has kind of been pushed right here to the edge and right there. I think my lesson learned next year is like, like I've said, I'm not gonna change the colors up too much. So I'd rather see, you know, more blue skies in here to be honest. So right now my watering schedule is again with the drip system. I'm watering about 30, 30 to 35 minutes in the morning before the sun comes up. Then I come out here at about midday, maybe two to three o'clock, and I water again for about 15 minutes. And then when the sun goes down, I water for about 40 minutes. So now let's go over here to the railing planters, which there's a lot of color going on right here, isn't there? Even got some flags right there. So here we are on the railing. I think these two boxes, single-handedly, they look the best. I think they steal the show. Last year, I think it was that. If you watch the videos last year, those are all bubble gums. So here we have, again, two bubble gums in each planter, but it's just amazing to see how, even in this one right here, I have a bubble gum planted all the way on the end, and then a bubble gum planted in the middle and somehow the, the bubble gum has spread all the way to the other side of the box, which is just amazing. It just goes to show you, like, look at the difference between the bubble gums and the, uh, the blue skies. I mean, the bubble gums are just absolutely everywhere. Here's the black cherry looking really nice. Uh, again, I got about six flags on each side in these boxes. Bring you up here to see what they, show you how they do it. So I kind of go behind them. I have to move. I have to move some of the growth back, and then I'll put the flags in, and then I'll kind of tuck each flag into each other, overlapping, and kind of behind the growth. I figure that's the best way to do it. Uh, done this a couple of years now. You can see in here there was a bird nest. The birds have since grown up and left. Uh, there's birds. There was at one point there was a bird nest in almost every single box. Here's the ones above the garage, looking nice. So we'll go down there and check those out. So over here, I had to trim these hedges back because if you're looking from the street, these hedges actually cover up a lot of the growth 
I noticed that for every reason, there's the black cherries over there that I've kind of been struggling. I'm not sure why. I think they're getting choked out by the, by the bubble gums, to be honest. Over here, you might recall, we had uh, the super tweenies were growing all the way up the window, then they fell forward. And I have not touched them since they've fallen forward. And if you can see closely, you'll see a ton of little buds that are starting to form. So probably within the next week, you're gonna see flowers all over here. That's just how they do their thing. They're good like that. Uh, but again, the bubble gums have completely swallowed up everything. There's blue skies in the middle. We'll see what happens. I think the moral of the story here is the, the bubble gums just swallow everything whole. It's amazing. So let's uh, we'll take you down to the street level and see what it looks like from the street. So there we are. Check that out. I also lined the property with flags going all the way down. Nice little touch. And I'm for me, I, I would say the railing planters, they're definitely stealing the show this year. Again, last year it was all over there, but it goes to show you that even though I trimmed those bushes, once you see it from the street level, I mean, they're, it, they're almost to the point where as the super teenies keep growing and growing and growing, I'm gonna have to start trimming the hedges back even more because they grow very fast. And again, right now, lots of water. It's in the dead of summer. It's in the 90s every day. It needs all the water it can get. And what I've learned about Super Tunias is they will let you know when they need water. You'll notice almost immediately uh, the way that their leaves will shrivel up which luckily I haven't had to deal with this year. But you'll, the first thing you'll be able to tell when super tunias need water is not the flowers, but the leaves, the actual foliage themselves will start to shrivel up on you. So anyway, I guess that'll be it for this 4th of July update video. Glad to have you here watching. Uh, have a happy Independence Day and tune in next week.